So you pop down to Builders last weekend and you picked up a water feature. You get home, connect it up, fill it with water, switch it on, and either the water gushes out the top and floods everything, or worse still, there's no water at all. What happened? What went wrong? Now all water pumps, regardless of their type, have two numbers you need to concentrate on. Firstly is the liters per hour that the pump can deliver, and secondly is the total lift, commonly known as head. Now this pump, for example, can pump a thousand liters at zero head, but as the height increases, so the flow rate or liters per hour decreases. So to make it easier to explain, I've knocked together the water feature pumper meter version one. Basically, it's a strip of timber with clear tubing attached to it, each connected to a separate pump in a separate bucket of water. Now I know you're commenting and saying that the tubing is different sizes, and that is because different size pumps have different size outlets. Also make sure that the cable of your pump is long enough to reach the plug point as there are variances on these. So here I have three different pumps, three different brands picked off the shelf at Builders and I specifically look for three pumps that had various outputs. These are by no means the largest. You do get water feature pumps that can go up to a five meter head. So into each bucket, I'm gonna add some food color in just so we can see the water level easier in the tubes. Now, when I turn on the pumps, we can see that the water level rises immediately and settles, almost stationary. Now, as we read on the box, the small pump can lift the water to about 0.6 meters, the medium one to about 1.2 meters, and the large pump tops out at 1.6 meters. And there's no trick photography here. We haven't restricted the flow in any way. Now I want you to measure the height of your water feature. This is the head that you need to calculate on when choosing your pump. And you may find the pump you have is either too strong or not strong enough. If your pump is too strong, you can restrict the flow using a worm gear hose clamp. If your pump is too small, you either need a smaller water feature or a bigger pump. Now some pumps have an adjustable dial that you can change the flow rate, although the variances aren't that big. If you find that the pump is slowing down, the sponge filter is probably clogged. Just unplug the pump, remove the filter, rinse it and put it back in. If you have a lot of leaves that keep gathering in the water feature and blocking up the pump, just take an old orange pocket, put the pump inside and this will help to keep the leaves away from the suction side. Now builders have a wide selection of water features, pumps, piping, all the connections you need to get your water feature up and running at home. For more videos like this, check out the blog on the website. Get to builders and get it done.